guys, this is another episode of Nagmamagaling sa Math. This time, what we're going to learn is how to use the 2 to the K uh, rule in identifying the desired number of class intervals. So, again, class intervals is actually used in constructing a frequency distribution table. Or it's found embedded in a, uh, in a frequency distribution table. But there are several ways in how to identify the desired number of classes. But what I'm going to show you or share you this time is using the k to the 2 to the k uh, rule. So come on, let's work together. I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is our example for uh, applying the method 2 to the k rule in identifying the desired number of class intervals. So, what we're going to do, you notice here we have 50 samples. So, all this data here inside the box, this is all uh, This is all in all 50. So, what we're going to do is we are going to use the desired number or we are going to use the ruling 2 to the K in identifying the desired number of class intervals. So, there we go. So, let's move here. Using 2 to the K. The 2 to the K rule is simply, that is 2 raised to K greater than or equal to n okay so that is uh, two this is our expression that we are going to use that is two raised to k greater than or equal to n now very quick recall n here is equivalent to sample size okay sample size simply how many samples were there now, if we recall our example, in our example, the sample size is 50. So, that is the value of n here is 50. Now, what must be the, the value of k here in this exponential expression such that it is greater than 50? So, if we're going to substitute now our n, the, uh, the sample size in our expression, 2 raised to k greater than or equal to n, that is 2 raised to k greater than or equal to 50. So what must be the value of k uh, greater than 50? You know that 2 raised to 5 is 32. That is 2, uh, the, the, the factor 2 appears 5 times. So that is 32. And you know that 32 is not greater than 50. Thus, we cannot take 5 to be the value of k. So instead, we will have now 2 raised to 6. And by the way, 2 raised to 6 here is 64. As the base here, 2, appear, appears as a factor 6 times. That's why that is 64, applying exponential rule. So this is now greater than or equal to 50. This is already, sir, because we know that 2 raised to 6 is 64. And indeed, 64 is greater than or equal to 50. If we're going to use 5, that is 32. And we know that 32 is not greater than or equal to 50. That's why we cannot take 5. So we have k here is greater than or equal to, or rather, sorry, that is k equals 6. So applying this method, uh, the 2 to the k rule in identifying the desired number of classes, for our example, k must be 6. So we have 6 as our desired number of classes. So, um, by the way, just to inform you that this is not going to work most of the time. I mean, especially when you have uh, several number of sample or sample size. But for the purpose of discussion, this is how we use 2 to the k and identifying the desired number of classes. And then... Uh, just for another example, applying the method, what about you have n equals 100? So your sample size now is 100. So applying the, the, the ruling or the method that is um, 2 to the k or at least 2 raised to k should, should be greater than or equal to 100. And with that, if you notice that 2 raised to 7 after 6 here, which is 64, that is... 128 so that means to say 128 of course is greater than or equal to 100 therefore you have 2 raised to 7 greater than or equal to 100 
that means to say also that k is 7. So, if our sample size then is number of classes of 7 is enough to accommodate the sample size 100. So, again, that's how we use, um, that's how we use the method 2 to the k rule in identifying the desired number of classes. Again, this is just for the purpose of discussion because I know you will encounter or you will find this in some of uh, the textbook for statistics. So, I hope this is going to help you in uh, doing your frequency distribution table. If you have some comment about my explanation, then please, uh, you can leave a comment on my video and then let me know. Of course, like I said from the intro, nagmamagaling lang po, hindi po magaling. So, with that, thank you very much and I hope you may stay, you will tune in and then if you want, you can click the notification bell in the, uh, the bottom of this video. And so that you will be notified as we will continue with the series of this uh, discussion and lesson. Like I said, another series of Nagmamagaling lang po. So with that, thank you very much guys. And